here at JotForm, we're excited to announce a new way to raise funds. Introducing JotForm donation apps. Hey JotFormers, welcome back. I'm Kimberly. And what makes JotForm donation apps so amazing is it features a powerful yet user-friendly new element called the donation box. This is going to make it so much easier for you to collect funds, even on a mobile device, no matter your industry or your cause. So let me show you how to get started. Now you heard me mention JotForm donation app. So you guessed it, it is an app. So in order to do that, we're gonna to go to the top left-hand corner where it says my forms and we're gonna choose my apps. And if you already have an app that you would like to add a donation box element to, we can just come up here, edit and add that donation box. But for this example, I'm gonna go up to create an app. We can start from scratch, we can use a template, we can clone an existing app that we have and add that donation box element, or we can build a store. But for this example, I'm gonna go ahead and choose the use template option and find one that's gonna work for me. And I think for this example, I'm going to utilize the Save the Penguins app. So I'm gonna use the template. Now, anytime I'm using a template, I always wanna take a quick scroll just to see what I'm working with. So at the very beginning, we can see we have an about us section or the very first page. And then it looks like we have two different buttons. We have a donate now and we have a be a volunteer. Now these buttons are going to be taking us to two different pages. And I know that because if I look down at the very bottom, we have these two pages right here. So let's go ahead and keep scrolling. So right here we have that donate page and I can tell this right here is that donation box. We keep scrolling down, we have the opportunity to share the app and then we have our be a volunteer section. So let's go ahead and go back up. I'm going to choose the donation box element. Let's just go ahead and delete it and let's start from scratch. So over on the left hand side, I'm gonna to choose to add an element. I'm gonna scroll down and right here under the payment elements, we have the donation box. So I'm gonna click and I'm gonna drag it right where I want it, right here on top. So just at a glance, we can see it says support us. We have some different donation options. We also have the ability to add in our own custom amount if we want. And then we have that donate now button. So over on the right hand side where the properties panel opened, we have the ability to edit and change any of these pieces. So right here it says support us. Instead of support us, let's change it to save the penguins. Perfect, and then we have our subheading text. If we want to change that, we can. If we scroll down, this is where we can edit or change any of those fixed amounts. So here we have the 10, 25, and 50. If we want to get rid of one of these, all we need to do is click the trash can, or maybe we want to start out this beginning donation at 15 instead of 10. And like I mentioned, the custom amounts is already turned on. So if we turn this off, that option goes away and we only have those three fixed amounts. But I think it is always a great idea to let someone choose their own amount because maybe someone wants to offer more than $50 or maybe all they have to spare is 10. So let's go ahead and turn custom amounts back on. And then here we can have some limits. So we can turn on the limits as well. Let's say the minimum donation is five and the maximum is 500. Then next, I think one of the most important things is showing your users where you are in the donation process. And you can do this by turning on the show donation goal right here. So let's say our donation goal is $5,000. Perfect, and now we can see right up here, right at the very top, your users are going to be able to see where you are towards your goal. Then a little bit further down, we get to change that button text. I think donate now is perfect. Maybe we can add an exclamation point. And if we wanna change the style of this, we can go back up to the top. We have the top right style. We can change the overall style of that button. We can change it to be rounded corners and we can also change the heading text to be in the center or on the right. For this, I think the left is perfect. And the next step is to integrate our payment gateway. So we can see right up here, payment properties in that green bubble. We also have it right next to our main element on the main page of the app. And even if we come back over here to general right here, it says this payment won't be visible until you integrate a payment gateway. So let's go ahead and click on the payment gateway. For this example, I'm gonna go ahead and use Stripe, we'll continue. And for this example, I'm gonna go ahead and put this in test mode and I highly encourage you to put yours in test mode first because you always wanna make sure that it's going to work before you push it out to the masses. So let's go ahead and connect, perfect. And as you can see with Stripe, we also have authorization only and the one-click checkout. 
For this example, I'm gonna go ahead and leave those off. So let's go ahead and save. And underneath you can see if you want to change your currency, we can do that as well. But let's head up to the top right hand corner and let's look at our checkout page. So it says right here, this is the page that your users are going to see during the checkout process. So we can hover over and it says view the contact information page. So this is exactly as it's going to look. Perfect, we'll go ahead and customize this. If we scroll down, we can see each of the elements and what they're requesting, as well as right down here, the selected campaign, we can see what type of element it is. And again, if we want to edit any of these, all we need to do is click on the pencil, make our changes and save. Now, if there is something else that you would like to request of your users or require, we can come up here to add an element. We can add phone number, address, short text, long text, single choice and multiple choice. But I think we're good to go. Let's go ahead and exit out of this. Let's preview the app and let's see what this is going to look like for our users. All right, we're on the mobile view. We'll go ahead and scroll down and we want to donate now. And here is our donation box. So for this example, I think I'm gonna go ahead and do a custom amount. Let's do 500 and we'll do donate now. And then for the selected campaign, I'm gonna go ahead and choose help for the emperor penguins and we'll proceed to payment and we'll pay. And we have our confirmation. Thanks for your support. Your donation of $500 will make a big difference. Now, if you've made other donations for this campaign, you can always choose the previous donations button and see what those were. And one of the most important things whenever it comes to donations and collecting from the public is the ability to share. So at the bottom, we can see here, spread goodness and share your support. We can click on these individual buttons, but if we choose more, we'll be able to grab a link to share how we prefer to share. Now. Up at the top left, I'm gonna go ahead and go back. Let's take a look at our donation goal. So we gave 500 on that goal of 5,000 so we can see it slowly inching along, which is perfect. Now, one final piece I wanna show you. Let's hop out of the preview. Every piece of information that's being captured, whether it's from forms or your donation box, is being kept in tables. So if I head up to the top left-hand corner where it says at builder, we're gonna switch over to tables. And if we choose the donations tab at the top, we can see that Amy, donated $500 for helping the emperor penguins. And it really is as simple as that. If you have any questions about utilizing JotForm donation apps or the donation box for your cause, let us know down below in the comments. If you like this video and you got some value, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe and turn on the bell so you get notification every time we put out a new video. I'll see you next time.